Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to export your videos for YouTube use. I've noticed this and I've seen some some people in the past talk about it and I've kind of done my own research and my own testing to see what works best. So right here I have a six second clip. It's one of my intros. If you want to look at all my intros and maybe even buy one from me, I've got a whole playlist on my channel. I will link it down below in the description. This one looks kind of cool. I don't need to show it to you. Uh, that's you can just go watch it, but I'm going to show you how to make this into the best YouTube friendly video that you possibly can. So we're going to go to Composition Make Movie. It's always going to be listed as comp whatever the composition name is that you choose to export. So when this is clicked and you click on Make Movie, it's going to do that. If I make another composition and that one's selected, I can do it that way. So if you make multiple compositions and you only want to export them one at a time, you can just click on it, go to Composition, Make Movie, and then it'll be added to your render queue. So then within the render queue, you have the output to the output module and the render settings. Render settings, just keep at best settings. That's going to make it look good. It's going to make it clean. It's going to make it the best because it's the best settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this. Just title it. I'm just going to put intro for tutorial. And it's always going to be started as an .avi. AVI is not as compressed. It's very lengthy it takes up a lot of file size and you're gonna have some problems with it in terms of storage it's gonna take a long time to upload it's just undesirable so what I noticed that works for me and we can do WMVs as well but I like doing mp4 because it works seamlessly with both Macs and Windows formats whereas WMV has a little bit of problems with Macs and MOVs to Windows so we're gonna click on this lost list loose list however you want to pronounce it click on that I always do 12A by 720 for these. This is just a test anyway. So in this format option, you're going to click here, click on this H264. Now, if your bit rate right here is not 300, go to format options. Make sure that you're on high, you're on level 5.1. That's the compression size. That's the best. This is the best. VBR1 pass, variable bit rate is what that stands for. So it's just the number of times that it's analyzed by the encoder. Make sure that they're both up to 300 megabytes per second. And you don't really just make sure multiplexing is at MP4. Stream com compatibility is standard. PSP iPod, both selected and good to go. And then you just click OK. You don't ever have to do this again. As long as you make sure that this is 300, it will always remain 300. So just make sure that you do this once, and then once you click OK and it, it does its thing, you're good to go. And then you always want to make sure that you double check before you export in After Effects, because I've done this many times, you don't get audio. So you have to select the audio separately. Formatting options, this is what I have set up. I Realize that you don't have to go too high because YouTube doesn't necessarily get this high, doesn't necessarily go to you know the 320 bit right bit rate kilobytes per second in terms of that. So 128 is good. Percentance is bit rate. That's perfectly okay. Stereo 4800 kilohertz. That is perfectly fine. So make sure that your RGB is all set. Just kind of match what you see to what I have. I really have never touched anything on here. I haven't really needed to. So. Once you're done with that, we're going to click OK. Uh, you can obviously choose in the output to where it outputs to and stuff like that. I just keep log errors only. That's set like that. And then you just click render. I'm just going to kind of talk over this while we do this rendering. So what I'm going to do for every video here on out, and first to mention, my computer is pretty average. So when you see me exporting, this is 29.97 frames per second. So it's not... You know, my PC specs are in my description, so you can judge me all you want. I've got a pretty average computer, so this renders pretty quickly considering. And it just is seamless with YouTube. So what we're going to do from here on out, every video that I make from this day forward, what's going to happen is comment something in the comments. Make it funny, make it quirky, make it a question, make it whatever. Whether it's the top rated comment for the next video or the one that I find the best comment, be it funny, makes me smile, whatever, best question, something I you know, feel inclined to talk about, I'm going to put it in the next video that I, that I record. And granted, I don't necessarily record them sometimes in the order that I show them and upload them, but I want to see how this goes. I want to see what kind of comments I can get on this video to know 
if this is worth it in the future and what kind of stuff is like that. So thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you learned something today. Let me know if you know of a better way. But like I said, this to me, when I edit and upload, I make sure that when I export stuff, no matter how long it takes, I mean, this is pretty average. It's not the fastest, but it preserves the most quality, in my opinion. I always make sure that I edit and export so that when I'm exporting, I have something else to do. Go outside, get something to eat, go work out, you know, plan some more videos, script, talk to family, you know, spend time with somebody, play some games, whatever you want to do while you export. Just, you know, I always make sure that I match my exporting time so that I have something else planned so I can make best use of this and not just sit aimlessly in my computer screen wondering when this thing's going to be done so guys like this video if you learned something today if you're going to use these settings let me know if they help you a lot it's helped me a lot and like i said it's the most efficient in my opinion like i said it's not the fastest it's not the best quality i believe it's the best of both it's very good quality as you can see from my videos even at 720 which is normally what i do to to upload so it's a smaller file size and quicker and it preserves the most quality, it's the smallest file size, it just works in my opinion the best. So thank you guys for watching, like I said, best comment feature in next video. Have a great day everybody, until next time.